I've been trying to figure out a good way to frame this video in order to show you the most accurate as heard by human ear results. And I think I did an okay job of that. But keep in mind while you're watching this that you are listening to this through a microphone and the best experience will be with headphones. If you want to hear a direct comparison, you really have to hear them in person. Full disclosure, BenQ did send me the Trevolo. I paid for the Nest 10-2 MK4 with my own money. And I'm trying to show you accurately what the difference between the two noise canceling algorithms are. The Trevolo has a few other features such as acting as a plain Bluetooth speaker. It's got a built-in microphone. And they say it's designed to focus on clear human voice production. It seems to be a product more designed for video conferencing, but we wanted to test it out in like a radio application to see how it performs. So here's how it performs. I'm going to play you some audio clips uh, recorded with a microphone at a distance of two feet from both speakers. And the raw radio will be included as well, so you can hear just my uh, Kenwood TS-930S's raw speaker, which is quite old and larger than both of these speakers. But it should give you a good idea of the difference between DSP, no DSP, or uh, a purpose-built ham radio DSP, which is on the Nest 10-2 MK4. That is a mouthful. I'm just going to be calling it the Nest 10 throughout the rest of this video. While the BHI Nest 10 does have a appropriate audio connector attached to the unit permanently, the Trevolo has a removable cable with a, an import jack, and the included cable is tip ring 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 sleeve. Uh, because it has an internal microphone, it has an extra uh, ring on the connector. So you're going to have to change out the cable if you want to use it with the stereo adapter for your radio. The Trevolo is USB-C rechargeable with a large battery. From the Trevolo website, it says you can listen for 12 hours depending on user scenario. Uh, I can't find a milliamp hour rating for this battery. Uh, I haven't charged it since I got it, and it's still at uh, three bars. It's got three little indicator bars. It hasn't gone down yet, and I've been using it pretty extensively the last few days. So I'd venture a guess and say it's got a pretty sizable lithium-ion battery in there, but I cannot tell you the exact size. So there it is. Um, I'm going to let you decide from listening to the clips. I will say, just to my untrained ear, the... Uh, the, the Nest 10 dash 2 MK4, that's a heck of a mouthful for a name, does seem to have more aggressive DSP, but you do get that waterfall sound out of it. 
Uh, the Trevolo is louder, but it's also physically bigger and more powerful. So take that for what you will. The Trevolo is two hundred and nine dollars uh, with free shipping. It looks like on Ben Q's website, and the Nest Ten is going for one sixty five ninety nine on Giga Parts with free shipping. So. I don't know. It's kind of a toss-up to me. I think that the Nest 10 is more aggressive on the DSP patterns, and it's a little bit, a little bit clearer. Uh, it might not be as pleasant to listen to. It's not as loud. It's not as full sounding. The Trevolo is a physically larger speaker, so it can get fuller and louder. And it does have the built-in battery. Plus it. It functions as a Bluetooth speaker if you would like to Bluetooth to it, which the uh, Nest 10 does not. The Nest 10 requires 12-volt external power. And if you're portable, that could be a little annoying. But for a permanent installation, I would recommend the Nest 10. Maybe if you're portable and you really want that uh, DSP for a radio that doesn't have uh, a DSP circuit, like an older radio, um, definitely the Trevolo seems like a solid option. Thank you for watching. I hope this was informative for you, and I hope you were able to uh, educate your decision-making process just a little bit with the help of my video. If you liked it, like the video, comment below, let me know what I did wrong, what you didn't like, what you want me to do next, and I'll see you next time.